is Zoe and I'm one of the members of Elim Church Silly Oak prayer team. Are you excited to hear the prayer points for March? We want to inspire you to pray and to see God moving in your life. For the first point, we will pray for the renewing of our minds according to God's Word in all aspects of our life. I would like to encourage you to know how important is the living Word of God. It is totally sufficient for all our needs. Jesus says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Let me share with you a story about two sisters. Jesus entered a village and was welcomed by Martha into her home. She had a sister called Mary. And while Jesus was speaking, she would be seated at his feet, listening to his words. But Martha was distracted by all her preparations. After a while, she came up to Jesus and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the serving alone? Tell her to help me. How do you think that Jesus replied her? In fact, Jesus answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and bothered about so many things, but only one thing is necessary. And Mary has chosen the good part, which shall never be taken away from her. So, we can clearly see that the most important, needful, and lasting thing is to sit at the Lord's feet and listen to His words for the renewal of our heart and mind. How can we do that? By reading the Bible and praying that God will help us understand His Word. As Samuel prayed, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. We shall also hear His voice. For the second point, we will seek the Holy Spirit's anointing and wisdom to effectively teach, disciple, and mentor others in the church. Paul sent a letter to Timothy and encouraged him to be strong through the grace that God gives him in Christ Jesus. Timothy had seen and worked alongside Paul in strengthening other believers by explaining the truth about Jesus to them. But now, Paul wanted Timothy to teach these truths to other trustworthy people who will then be able to pass them on to others. Because of this discipleship cycle, to be discipled and then to disciple others, we are here 2,000 years later. And maybe Paul's words are just for you today to seek out people into whom you can invest what God has given to you. For the third point, let us ask the Lord to touch the lives of our close family members and friends who do not know Him and also those who are far from Him. Let us claim together the promises of God for the Lord says, I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. 